I learned way more about thermal paste than what I ever cared to know all because of this one post. This is a CPU on your computer and that paste that you're seeing inside of there is called thermal paste. It's a substance that's used to conduct heat away from your CPU and then that heat is distributed into the air by fan. A lot of thermal pastes are non-conductive, well electricity non-conductive, but they do conduct heat. However, the most common thermal paste, which is like, like silver compound, that has a little bit of conductivity to it. And that's what this is. So you have to clean it off. So the solution that those little silver particles are suspended in is either uh, silicone or it's a ceramic paste. And in order to dissolve silicone, you need to use something like acetone or mineral spirits. Uh, rubbing alcohol won't do it. A lot of times in electronics, rubbing alcohol is used to clean things, 91% isopropanol, because it dissolves super fast and it doesn't leave over a residue. Okay, so even if you dissolve it and you go through and you clean it, there's still like little grooves underneath of the underside of those pinholes that your CPU pins go into. So my question is, how the hell do you get all of those cleared out? Not all CPU uh, connectors are like that, by the way. Not all of them have like little holes and little grooves and stuff. The only thing that I can say for certain about this is that I would be so pissed off if somebody did this to a rig that I was responsible for. Also, today I learned that there's liquid metal thermal conductivity stuff. It's not thermal paste. It, it's literally liquid metal. It's like made of a substance of like a mixture of gallium and some other toxic shit that you shouldn't put into your body. But it always stays liquid and it's super, super conductive. Both you know, electronically and um, uh, thermally. So it's not, it, it's dangerous to use if you get it wrong, but it's better. Hmm.